It's here. It finally got here. <sighs> okay. If you couldn't tell, I'm really excited about this actually. Oh my God. Whew. So in case you've never seen this channel, let me just give you a quick update. It's my 50th episode. I just crossed 2000 subs. And how does one celebrate 50 episodes on YouTube and 2000 plus subs? You go out and you buy yourself a brand new PC because your nerd heart deserves it. I need to open this goddamn box, but I forgot my X-Acto knife. I'll be right back. Oh my God. You don't even understand how excited I am right now. Box is open. All right, what's, what's this? Ooh. It smells like plastic in a good way, you know, like the, the type of plastic that you would smell when you would open up your fresh G.I. Joe's when you were a little kid or like He-Man figures, which is an incredible smell. I mean, it is, it's, God, I can do this all day. Uh, yeah, that's right, I dropped it. So as you can see, this is a Main Gear Turbo. I went for small because small is good. And let's be honest, I live in New York City and the space is very limited. Let's break into this. Again, this is a custom build. So, you know, the cables are exactly what I wanted. The case color, and I didn't go anything crazy. I didn't get like, you know, uh, you know, Ferrari red or anything crazy like that, but you could do that if you really wanted to. I opted for a jet black with lots and lots and lots of RGB because RGB makes everything work better. Is it coming out? Oh, whoa, whoa, there it is. There it is. There it is. Get ready to catch it. All right. Woo. Oh my God. That was so scary. Okay, let's put it right, right side up here. As you can tell, really packaged well. Nice big fluffy pieces of styrofoam. So you can kind of see already, this thing is pretty tiny. It's pretty amazing. This is where I have to put on the gloves because whenever you open anything, you don't want to leave any evidence. Plastic off, get that bad boy off. All right, cool. So let's let's just get into it. Ooh, this is the best part. You see this? This is literally like the best part. Oh my God, look at it, it only happens once. Oh, so satisfying. So now the question is, how do I get this tempered glass off? Unscrew this, I think. Let's put this somewhere safe. And then I pull this off, slide this, tempered glass off. So this is kind of a very like hard foam. Oh baby, this thing is so fucking beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? This is incredible. Oh my God, this is sick. This is banana sick. Holy shit. Look at that. I'm gonna lift it up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's the 3080 card. It is so fucking crazy amazing. Look how clean cable management. And I'll show you what the cables look like on the other side. You're paying for someone to do this work for you. So you can just get it home, get the foam out of it, and then just turn the shit on and you're good to go. You're ready to fucking rock and roll. With the unboxing out of the way, let's dive into specs and performance, starting with the motherboard, which in this case is an ASUS ROG Strix X570i Gaming Mini ITX motherboard, paired with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 6 core 3.7 gigahertz CPU, which is cooled by a dual 240 millimeter closed loop liquid cooler, which shouldn't be confused with the Apex, custom cooling system they offer because that option while amazing would have added an additional thousand dollars to the price tag and since i won't be doing any overclocking it would be pointless and purely cosmetic moving along i paired this cpu and motherboard with 16 gigabits of hyper x fury rgb ddr4 3600 megahertz ram and of course an nvidia 3080 video card for pure gaming bliss but where do you store all those games? I'm glad you asked, since I opted for the one terabyte Samsung 980 Pro M.2 Gen 4 NVMe SSD and threw in an additional four terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive for good measure. And of course, all this gaming goodness does require a hefty power supply. And the boys and girls at Main Gear had me covered with the Corsair SF 750 watt power supply. 
So, what does all this gaming goodness cost? Well, buckle up for some serious sticker shock, because this custom main gear build comes in at a whopping $3,402. And yes, I know that for some of you, that price tag may seem ridiculous. Hell, I can almost hear the DIY custom build trolls burning me at the stake in the comment section below. But hear me out. When you take into consideration the computer hardware shortage, the amazing, amazing build quality and time saved, not having to personally order every single piece of equipment from different vendors, assembling and troubleshooting all by yourself, this price makes total sense. And I should know, since I've been building PCs since I was 13 years old, which is probably longer than most of you watching have been alive. Yes, that's over 20 years. Regardless, the conversation of price means nothing until we actually see performance. And in this category, the Main Gear Turbo is a fucking beast, destroying extremely demanding games like Doom Eternal, Metro Exodus, The Medium, and Control, all set to 4K at the highest visual fidelity, and of course, with RTX enabled. And in case you're wondering, its 3D Mark score is 19,700. And this is because each build is hand assembled by an expert and tested before shipping to ensure your build is operating optimally and there is no bloatware on your PC. Thanks, Alyssa and Andres. Yep, this is the checklist right here. And in case anything does go wrong in shipping, their customer support is amazing with super fast response times about even the silliest questions. And before I wrap up this episode, I would like to add that I am not paid or endorsed or sponsored by Main Gear whatsoever. I'm just one extremely satisfied customer that would rate the build quality, components used, performance, customer service, and overall value a five out of five. Have any questions about my custom build? Or maybe you just want to talk about custom builds? Hit me up in the comment section below. And of course, like every single episode, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell so you can be notified when I drop another episode. Catch you guys next time, and thanks for watching.